guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to possibly the greatest video I have ever made. Uh, it's just a simple DIY video but it's a DIY video on this Killstar skull bag. Now this is the one that I made, this is not the original Killstar bag. I think the original retails for about 50 British pounds. This cost me basically £12 to make and I bought a bag of bones which is £6 and then a £6 can of spray paint. The zip I already have off of an old jumper, uh, the thread to sew the zip on I already had because I'm a hoarder, the ribbon I had because of a previous DIY and then the strap I was off of the bag. You could probably pick up a skull like this for about £3. I know that some places do do just skulls but their jaws move but I wanted to get a skull that the jaw didn't move so I bought a bag of bones which is around £6. Some of you may already have like a skull in your Halloween stash, um, but yeah, so you can make this for a lot, lot cheaper. Yes, it does require some effort. Yes, it does require you to have time and patience. No, you don't need any specialised equipment. I did use a Dremel for this, but you could quite easily use an awl, uh, a drill, and just a hand saw to do this. But I use a Dremel because it's easier and it's cleaner. Um, but let me stop talking and let's get into the video. So guys, here's what you're going to need for this video. You're obviously going to need a skull. This is a plastic one. I got this in like a big set of Halloween stuff. I think it was a six pound for the whole set of bones. You can get individual skulls, but the ones that they had in the shop had detachable jaws. I didn't want that. I wanted a full, a full unit. We're also going to want a zipper. This one is a long zipper that I pulled out of a coat and it can come undone at the bottom but we don't need that, we just need a zipper. I, again, if you have any old coats, any thrifted coats, you can just rip it out of there like I did. You're going to need some thread, preferably you're going to want embroidery floss. I only have white embroidery floss so I might just spray paint on top of it but I also have black thread just in case but you want a nice thick, a thick thread. Spray paint, this is a glossy spray paint um, and it does work on plastics. We do want glossy because the Killstar bag we are recreating is glossy so you're going to want that. Sandpaper because you need to make sure you prime your skull correctly. Bag strap off an old bag for me. These are picture hanging hooks so you put these on the back of picture to hang hooks but I think they're going to work really well to attach the bag so that's what we're going to use for that. I'm sure you can actually get things that are actually meant for this, but I don't know what they're called and I don't have any. Needle and thread. Some form of stud, preferably a flat mushroom top stud. I don't have anything like that, but I've got these dark gunmetal ones with a lower profile and then these spiky ones with a higher profile. I'm going to decide, decide which one I want to use, but if you have a smaller stud, that's going to work better. I didn't end up using these. And I have a Dremel. You can use a saw or anything like that but because I want to get a more precise line I'm going to use this Dremel. Um, you probably also want some sort of pen, sharpie, measuring tape depending on how you want to measure how you're going to cut your skull. Uh, I'm leaving this up, up to my boyfriend so I'll hopefully get a clip of him doing it, fingers crossed. Um, but this is his Dremel. If you don't have a Dremel you can use a saw or a knife. You will also want ribbon, scissors and a lighter. Alright let's get into the first step. So the first step for me is going to be sanding. If you can see here, there's like the little plastic ridge where they've cast the skull and it's left a bit of a ridge. I don't want that. Put some sandpaper and just try and sand that off. Me and Mark, I will find the ship. Okay. We're doing plug in. Make sure you could, please. In case anyone's wondering why I, myself, a strong, independent woman, am not, not doing this, a couple of reasons. Number one, I have no hand eye coordination. Number two, that. Yep. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, before you go, can you insert a drill bit for me? Well, what are you after? What do you want to do? You want to poke little holes? Yeah, tiny, 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 tiny. You're going to need that. <laughs> Okay, so we've just taken the cranium bit off of the, the skull. Um, I've sanded this bit down already, so all I have to do is sand the rim of this. And then also on the inside, there's a bunch of dust I'm going to try and get out as best I can, but sand it off. But essentially what will happen is the skull, 
have like a zip in the middle so it will kind of sit apart just like that but what we need to do now is put it back together and then we need to mark out some holes for where we're going to attach the zip so we're obviously going to sew the zip on what I'm going to do is take my Dremel, my boyfriend's kindly put on a little drill bit, you can also use a drill or an awl if you want, but I have this and I'm going to put my glasses on, turn it onto a low setting and just kind of make those holes. It's a bit of a mess later, we have drilled the holes on all of our pieces, I'm going to give it a light sand just to get rid of all the excess. Okay, so our next step is to go and spray paint this, uh, let's go some spray paint also coincidentally everyone's wearing masks right now and you do need a mask when you're spray painting so that's going to be real handy because a lot of you will have masks at home so please wear your mask when, say, when spray painting if you're doing it inside open some windows lay down some covers i'm doing it inside i'm going to crack, crack open some windows grab a mask and let's go do this also i'm not going to take you with me on the main camera but i am going to take you with me on my phone purely because um this camera's expensive i don't want to get spray paint on it but this i can i can clean this easy Okay, so we've got our spray painted skull, um, it's glossy black, it's still kind of tacky so hopefully that'll finish drying. Now we want to add our zipper, so I'm going to use this one like I said before, it's kind of beaten up a little bit but it's going to work just fine. I'm honestly really nervous for this part because I haven't practiced on this bit, I've practiced everything else but I have not practiced this bit so let's hope this goes okay. I'm going to make this not real big so it doesn't slip through and I am just going to quickly using this thread, I don't really care about it, I'm going to make a little stitch at the end here and the reason we're doing this is so we can cut off the very end of our zip and not have to worry about it coming undone accidentally and then you can cut off the end of that zip. Okay so taking our zip I'm going to start to make sure that the zip bit is on the outside so facing outwards so to make our little lap I'm going to use this ribbon gloss green ribbon cut a little piece out and then singe the edges with the lighter so it doesn't go anywhere so with this piece of ribbon I'm going to use just some black thread to attach it over the end of our piece of ribbon here um, just some black regular thread Okay, so now I've sewn the little flap into the back, what we're going to want to do is take the skull, find the mid-back point, and then position this so the teeth line up along the back, and then taking your needle, you're going to want to try and find one of the holes that you've put in. This is probably going to look a little bit harder than that actually works. You want to just stick your needle in the holes as you go around to just secure that into place. When you're getting towards the end, make sure that you unzip it, so your zip toggle is in your piece, otherwise you might run the risk of leaving it out when you sew. I'm just going to get close to the end and then I'll show you guys how I finish the end off. But once you start getting used to poking through the holes, it will be a lot easier. Alright, so now we are right at the end, so here you can see the zip bit. What I'm going to do is stitch it back through again. So here on the back you can see I'm going to stitch it back through just, just to this hole here and then here on the inside I'm going to cut off the extra leave about an inch or so just singe that edge off so it doesn't fray and then I'm going to fold this down like this and I'm going to go back and forth over that with the thread and rather going back through to the outside again I'm going to just Go through the inner layers just using my embroidery floss. Gonna loop that through to tie a knot. But I'm not done yet. I want to go around and make sure that these stitches look nice. So I'm gonna just zip this back up. So see here how it's like one solid piece? I'm gonna go around and just do that. Oh no, so now the bottom is done, we need to add on the top. And the handy thing is, because we know how long we need to cut this to, we can just cut that down ahead of the game. And then we can get to sewing this on. And I'm also going to use this opportunity to just sew these on, so I'm going to just 
take the rest of my string and just tie a knot in the side. And then I've decided that I'm going to place the straps just here along where the jawbone is. Last coat of spray paint, add some straps and you are done. So guys, that was it from me. I really hope you enjoyed this DIY. I hope you liked this as much as I do. I have wanted one of those Kill Star bags for the longest time, but I couldn't justify like £50, but make it myself, I can definitely justify. This is like my favourite thing right now, I'm going to leave it over there so I can look at it whenever I come in here. Um, like I say, I probably will be remaking it following these exact steps. I need to get another skull at some point because it kind of messes one up, but you know what, trial and error, it happens. That was it from me, stay safe, stay dark, uh, lots of love and I'll see you guys in the next one.